Hey y'all, welcome again to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna be making a Thanksgiving theme charcuterie board. It is so close. Thanksgiving is right around the corner and so is Christmas. So we gotta get to it, right? Stay tuned. all about coming together as a family. Oh, I miss my son so much. We used to all sit around for Thanksgiving and enjoy the dinner. Uh, I cooked these very big meals for them and they just really enjoyed it. So now I have to scale it down a little bit because there's only me and Sean here. But today we're making this Thanksgiving themed charcuterie board so that you can have an idea for your family and then I can uh, knickknack on it for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> How about that, right? So I have so many things that I want to add on here and I hope that we have enough space some new taste to me and some old favorites, of course. I'm talking cranberry and sunflower seed crackers, uh, Italian yeah. cheeses. Of course, you know I love cheeses and some apple butter. So just all the country fixes and some of my favorites too, as well as some new ones. So let's hop into it. Let's start with the basics. We got our artesian crackers that are cranberry and sunflower seeds, some premium mixture of nuts and our cheeses which are pepper jack cube cheese and some goat cheese it's like cranberry flavored as well so you want to try to get anything you can that's holiday themed then we have our meats our separado and our any pasta trio along with some jerky okay let's start by adding our crackers onto the tray first we'll just put them in a corner kind of like that and then we will Put the little pumpkin in the middle as a little centerpiece. It gives it all the vibes of Thanksgiving. Let's just add them along the center here. Next, we'll add our fruit bowl. It has a beautiful array of colors, Thanksgiving thing. We set our foundation up a little bit. I've got the piece here, little oranges. Okay, so now we're gonna just fill in the space. And we can fill in the space with the Italian Copa first. So with the Italian Copa, we can go ahead and start making a river, a river ribbon river. And so with that, what you're gonna do is you're just going to fold it in half and, and then half then again end up with something that looks like that. And then we'll just keep building on that. So fold it twice like this and like that. And then we'll stack it there. You have to be very careful with this because it's very thin. And so if you're not careful, careful, you'll pull it apart. Okay. So we got this, and that'll give us a little, a little bit of a river there. And we're just gonna tuck that right there, right beside the cracker. And flip it out a little bit to give it a little bit of zhush. Okay. So there we have that. Then we have our soprasada. We'll go ahead and add those over here since there's meat already there. Over there. Then we have our teriyaki beef jerky. We'll just sit that over here. Teriyaki jerky. Beef jerky. And we'll put that over there. We've got some of our cheeses here. This is a mixture of pepper jack and mozzarella. So we'll just sprinkle those throughout here. Because you kind of want your meats and your cheeses to be together. And you want to fill up any space because you don't want empty space so it can look abundant, okay? Very good there. We'll fill this with apple butter since it's so close to the crackers as well. And this is Seven Springs Apple Butter. It's a black-owned winery, and the apple butter is really delicious. It's sweet, but it's delicious. So we'll just fill that up. There. 
we have our olives, we'll add those in here. So we'll add some cheeses here. Some more here. And try to separate your colors so you don't have too much of one color in one area. Like I don't really love that there's this orange here. So we may move this here just to separate it a little bit there. Okay, we may add some more of that lace uh, if I can stop eating it, right? It's coming along, it's coming along. Here's here. We have some artisanal crackers that we could stand here. Careful. We'll stick a few here. I love these little rivers. They look so pretty. Sean and I'll be eating on this, but if you're having guests, you may want to, uh, if you're having guests, you may want to use your gloves so that you're not too handsy with everything. Right, right, right. So, we can add some more cheeses here. Let that little river flow. There, there, and there. And then here we can add the olives. We can go ahead and put in our fillers, like our cranberries and our nuts to fill up some of the space. They can just be sprinkled throughout. Voila, how beautiful. I just love it with all the Thanksgiving colors. The beautiful different taste that you'll have a little salty a little sweet a little savory there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit like and subscribe i hope you got some inspiration for thanksgiving and that you and your family have a wonderful time bye